Hey guys, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, we are going to talk about something that I do very often, but I barely mention in this channel, and that is to fix the zipper on a back. You know, when you fix the zipper on a back, you can extend the life of it for a long time. And true, sometimes you need special machine to do it, but sometimes you can do it with your regular machine. So let's go. My customer brought in this bag. This is a beloved bag of him, so we are gonna do it. As you can see, this is a coil zipper and it has the coil in the inside, not at the outside. This is because make the zipper a little bit more waterproof. You know the first step. The first step is to open the zipper and uh, what I'm going to do, I try to go directly with my blade, but it's a little bit difficult. So I'm going to start ripping two or three stitches with my seam ripper and then I'm going to use the blade. And I know that I have said this before in the channel, but I wanted to remind you that I always tilt my blade towards the zipper. So if I break something, I will break the zipper and not the back. I use a new blade every time that I have to replace a zipper on a back because they use a nylon thread and the nylon thread is very strong. Now I'm going to open the other part and the other part they use a decorative tape covering the zipper and the seam. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to open this tape and I know that it seems that I go very fast and easy but you have to be careful. Remember tilt the blade towards the side that is less important and make sure to have the material all pulled while you are open the seam that way you just encounter each thread in each stitch and then this is what you break in those jobs alterations jobs and repair jobs opening is a very crucial and important step in our job we have to try to do it well and fast I have to be very careful there because they have a slit. I think they notch it. Maybe because this is a little curve, but I have to be careful when I sew that zipper back. Now that my tape is out, I have to remove the zipper and I do the same as I did before. I start opening two or three stitches with my seam ripper and then I'll go with the blade. Now I have to go to the edges and this is the most difficult part to open because uh, usually they do back and forth with the stitch and uh, there is a lot of thread and a lot of material there and you have to be very careful and very delicate. I'm going just little by little. I don't rush it. Take all the time you need to do this step. And remember that if your backpack is flexible, you too can replace the zipper of it. I have a special leather machine. It's like a leather patcher. And I sometimes use it to replace the zipper on bags. But in this case, I don't need it. Always is better when the job is more accessible. On this side, the zipper is on all the way until the edge. So it has tape at the end of the zipper, as you can see here. So I will need to open the whole zipper and I need to open as well this edge so I can sew everything and then sew the zipper. And this edge is very tricky to open because there is a lot of material. Is the zipper is one side, the other side, everything together. But I'm going very delicate and then I will open it. And then you see the strap of the backpack are there too, you see. Then I'm going to sew back before for sewing the zipper because sew the zipper all around it will be easier see so I'm sewing the edge and then I will just leave like a one square for the zipper now I can sew back my zipper but before I sew back my zipper I want to give a shout out to my niece Isabella it's her 18th birthday and she's a huge fan of the channel so happy birthday Isabella going back to my zipper what I'm gonna do I will position my zipper and I will put a few pins and then I will baste my zipper a lot of people don't feel the need to base the zipper. They just pin it and sew. But in my case, I feel more comfortable because I feel like sometimes the zipper move a little bit when you are sewing it up if the zipper is not based. So it's my taste to do it, but you do it if you want. If you don't want, don't do it. It's okay if you control well your machine and everything. So my first side is all done. I will remove my base 
thread and it's very easy to do it. Look, it looks fantastic. When I was taught in fashion designer, I swear that I wouldn't baste anything to sew. But look at me. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, here you go. I'm making sure that my zipper will be flat and I'm pinning a little bit before I baste again. My zipper is closed and uh, of course it will be much easier if my zipper is open when I sew. But it's not just a little bit open. I prefer it all the way open. And I know guys, it's not Thanksgiving yet, but we are basting again and not the turkey. I am making my second stitch and then I am making sure that my zipper is all okay and I will insert the slider because I'm using the zipper the opposite side. I'm using a slider that goes both ways so it will be easier for me. And uh, inserting the slider sometimes it's a little tricky, sometimes it's easy. You know, you just do it. Then I will cut my zipper and I will make sure to tuck it in so I can sew it. And then I pull out the slider again, so my zipper is completely flat and nice. And now I have everything together back. I make sure that everything is all flat because I will sew the edges. And before doing that, I will make sure that the zipper won't open. This is why I'm placing a safety pin there because sewing this part is really tricky. If you have a domestic machine and used with the arm out, it will be easier. But because my machine is so flat, it's a little bit complicated and tricky. I'm removing a little bit more of the base and then I'm going to the other side. And now I'm making sure to my backpack inside out. That way I will work in a more comfortable way. I cut my zipper and I'm burning the edges so the zipper won't rip. And now I am putting back my tape with the zipper inside. In this case, because it's not as important because everything is all done, I am just spinning and then I am stitching on top. I am trying to be careful, of course, but this case is a little bit easier and it looks pretty nice. Now I will finish the edge and I will cut the other side of the zipper and as well burn the edges. You see, this was the tricky part, but most of the zipper you are going to do, they don't go until the very end as this one. So I'm putting my other slider because it's more comfortable when the zipper has two sliders. And uh, my last step is just sew back this edge. I'm pulling it and there you go. I stitch it and everything is all done. It's very nice. And now I can flip back my back to the right position and it's all done. Doesn't it look like new, like the original? Of course. The trick was based, guys. That was the trick. Basting makes everything more delicious. I mean, um, better. Better, guy, better. And guys, that was all for today. I hope that you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, like. Thank you. Bye.